So you might be trying to figure out how you can make your iPad keyboard bigger inside of your iPad. Now, doing this is very, very basic, and it doesn't really make too much, it doesn't take too much time. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and find your keyboard. Now, if your keyboard is currently like this, or let's say it's the other way, let's say it's a smaller keyboard, let's say it's the floating keyboard, it's very easy to go and make it bigger. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go and grab this keyboard like this at the bottom, and you want to go and just bring it to the bottom like this. And when you do that, you should be able to see it'll start expanding. And then you can go and make your keyboard bigger from that standpoint. Now, there's another way of making your keyboard slightly bigger, and that is by basically increasing the size of it inside of the other way. So this includes us changing the appearance, so just keep that in mind. So the first thing we want to do is make our way over into our iPad settings. You want to scroll down until you see this display and brightness option, which is right here. And then what you want to do here is you want to go and change it basically where it says our appearance, our display zoom. You can change it from default to more space. And when you change it to more space, what's going to happen is it's going to go ahead and basically just expand your particular viewpoint of your you know, iPad. And it's going to make it significantly bigger in a majority of different ways. So now, as you can see, if you pick default or you pick the other way, what's going to happen is it's going to change the size of your keyboard basically from one way to the other. So you can see now when you're you know, doing more space, the keyboard was originally here, now it's here. So now if I go through and change it the other way, right? So if we go into here, we go back into display zoom and we click back on default, you'll see that the keyboard space will now actually be a little bit bigger now. So when you switch back to standard, if you make sure it's on standard, the keyboard will be slightly bigger as of that point. And you'll see now that the keyboard went from being, you know, basically down here, it's now being like about like a half an inch bigger. So that's another option you have there as well. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.